Hello. I almost forgot to unmute myself. Um, <laughs> which would definitely be irritating, as I have done that before. Um, let me know about the how it sounds. Um, should be good. I am leaving the music on first. We'll see how that goes. As long as I'm not like, I don't know. Immediately like muted, I'll leave the music on. I just don't like having my channel, like my VODs blocked in places. That's really it. So this is Life is Strange before the storm. So it's the prequel to Life is Strange. So this is before Max even comes back to um, Arcadia Bay. So we are Chloe and we are dealing with being an angsty teenager. Here, I'm gonna turn on the sound audio settings. Just the master volume down a little bit. Um, but we are basically just getting to be a, a normal teen. Kind of. A traumatized teen, you know. But, oh, I just realized I didn't move my... <sighs> didn't do a lot of stuff. Like, turn off Facebook in the background. And, oh my goodness. Move the lamp so I'm not... I don't have a halo. Let me do that real quick. we go yeah the prequel it's nice so I have not played it before um, but I know what happens <sighs> internet am I right so let's do it so it only has three episodes well plus a bonus episode which we have to finish all these episodes first before we get the bonus episode but um yeah Let's get started. Let's do it. So, this is how we get to know Rachel. So Rachel finally is going to have a voice and everything. As a reminder, um, these... So this got recorded during the voice actor's strike. So it's not going to be the same people doing the voices as before. So that might be a little startling at first. But once you get into it, you totally forget. time and everything for you. You gotta chill. Gotta chill it. If I just turned it down I too much, let me Firewalk know. Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. <laughs> mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Yeah, mom would kill me. We're just chilling. Not going very fast. Oh, right. Okay. So now I do it. No with. trespassing? No way. Okay, cool. So now I can just, instead of having to like drag my cursor. There we go. Yeah, you flip off that sign. 15 year old, am I right? Holy shit. Nice. This place is awesome. Okay. 
If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Um. Okay. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. <laughs> Argument. Those guys need to get a room. Ha 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 Yeah, yeah, that kind of argument. Not. Damn. Mind your own business. Yes, sir. Mr. Tattoo Neck, sir. I understand. I understand really, and, and, and it won't ever happen again. I swear. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will All right, will see me. so that's what we do here. Okay, let's let's chill. Let's start. Aw. So, start everything off. Dear Max. Aw, so sad. Dad got me the stationery one day when I complained about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. And tonight I thought, hey, maybe it's time to write Max. Funny thing is, I don't really know what to say because we haven't talked in three months, despite my calls and texts and not that I'm upset or anything. Fuck, there's no way I'm sending this is there. Chloe, the unfriended. So that, if you see, 2010. So this is 2010. Um, Life is Strange is set in 2013. Um, so this is three years prior. Max, now this is more like it. Here, I can write to you all I want without wondering... Wondering or worrying if you'll ever write me back. Maybe one day when you return home and apologize for having forgotten all about me and we kiss and make up, I'll show this to you and we can read it and laugh. Or maybe I'll decide that Journal Max is way cooler than Reality Max and you'll just live in here forever as my little imaginary former, current, best friend pen pal. Time will tell. Chloe, the journal boss. Max, ready? So mom suggests taking a road trip next summer and I'm like, cool, I guess. But then she starts talking about David being there. Yes, that David. The wannabe drill sergeant who swooped in on Mom and is stuck around like a bad zit. David, the mustache monster from Planet Dipshit. That fucking David. Anyway, I politely suggested to Mom that perhaps it was too early to assume David would be in the picture by then, or breathing. Hey, if shit happens, as you might imagine, that didn't go over well. But really, if this guy is still around three months from now, then she's got serious self-esteem issues, and I've got serious self-immolation Look it up, nerd. Plans. She can do better. That's all I meant. But she didn't want to hear it. Like, I'm the asshole. Chloe, the asshole. Max. So now I stop going to class so much? Like, you stop talking to me so much? Funny story. I had trouble coming up with an excuse, so I just didn't. I just didn't show up. And it was fine. Nobody said anything to me. Crazy, right? It's like I'm invincible all of a sudden. Maybe that's the perk of being the dead dad girl. No one knows what to do with me, so they're actually relieved when I stay home. Wish I'd figured this out sooner. Think of all the wasted school time. P.S. Pris from Roadrunner popped into my head last, na last time I rubbed one. I mean, at first I was thinking about Deckard and that smolder of his, but then Pris totally stole the show. Probably nothing there. I think I just want her bangs. Chloe the electric sheep. Awesome. So this is Chloe. My name is Chloe Price, but you can call me. I'm an inmate. I'm not going to go through all of that. Um. Ooh. Max. MIA. Ex-best friend extraordinaire. The worst part is, even though we haven't spoken in months, even though she habitually ignored my text so much that I just stopped trying, even though I know deep down that she doesn't care about me anymore, that she probably has all new friends in, uh, up in fucking Seattle, I still miss her. If she came back tomorrow and said, hey Chloe, want to dress up like pirates and be stupid together? I would take her back in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Aww. <laughs> Makes me so sad. Um... So then dad. Oh. Right. So this is pretty much... Technically dad died in 2008. If I remember correctly. Yeah, dad died in 2008. So he's, he's been dead for two years. 
Um, and then, oops. And then David and Joyce, despite my mom's best efforts, I don't actually hate her. I know she's been rough since dad died. Money's tight, her job as a waitress at the diner isn't exactly glamorous, and I'm clearly not all about that whole going to school thing. But why does she have to make things so much harder on the both of us? She acts like if I smoke pot or when I skip out to go catch an awesome show, it's somehow a personal attack on her. That's just how that works. Okay, so in this one, we get to graffiti shit. So we're not... We're not, um... We're not taking pictures, we're graffitiing things. So we gotta look for places to graffiti. Something sharp. Amazing. Okay. So bonfire. Let's first look at it. Some say the world will end in fire. We're Mom going to would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. Yeah, and? This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. Okay. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Okay. We're good. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Nope. I can't. I can't mark it. Okay. Hi, kitten. Okay, we're just gonna chill. Dog kennel. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. <laughs> Bikes. I'd join a motorcycle gang. Yeah, she's so edgy. If I had any friends. So edgy. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with floral print. Okay, is there anything else over here that I can, I don't know, tag or something? I just want... To graffiti shit. Okay, machinery. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. Okay, well. It's an old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Hey, bouncer. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. How do I get past this guy? Yeah, I fucking love floral prints. Hi, cat. Help you, miss? Yeah, I've got to let go me in. in. Check it. I'm totally legit. I'm totally legit. Because legit people say that. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Okay. But we unlocked. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? I wasn't trying to go in, my kid. dude. I was just trying to get around so I could talk to you again. Oops, I've got no, to figure I out how to get S. past this guy. God, again? What do you want, kid? Um... Oh... I don't want to back. So this is our back talk option. W. Let's talk about the bike first. Is that your bike over there? Yep. It's uh pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? Oh God. I'm really bad at this. So. I don't think I'm gonna do very well as Chloe. Okay, let me in. Cool. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Okay. I use arguments and insults to get someone to do what I want. 
Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Okay. Bedtime. Okay, so we want to pay attention to what our opponent says. Um, how about your bedtime? Oh, isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Cute. Okay. I don't do cute. Or cute is relative. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Tough. Okay, kid. Okay. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. I don't know. I never played Monkey Island. Okay. A girl like you with pretty pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on her what bicycle. I do. That is a traditional Samoan. <laughs> Look. My boss decides who gets in, all right. Your boss? Ah, uh, is your boss your mom? There we go. Do you live in your boss's basement? You're, you're not accepting no for an answer. Yes. Aren't you? You, nope. got, you got talked into it by... <laughs> you really think you can take me? A 15-year-old yeah. girl. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking <sighs> dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> you're all right, kid. <laughs> Go on in. You're too cute. I'll let you in. <laughs> Amazing. This is intense. Intense. Oh, oh, shit. Hi, Dougie. You. Come. Cute dog. Cool. Awesome. We are inside at the potty. Potty? Party. Amazing. Scrapped. <laughs> Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. I would love to pet the pit bull, but I feel like petting the pit bull is not a good idea. Okay, so tag. Oh no, that's just looking at a tag. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? This place is mob. Okay, good. Right, well, that would help. Hmm. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. <laughs> That dog's fierce. Okay, let's try and pet the fucking pit bull. What's her name? Delia. Puppy. I will pet all of the puppies. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah, we got to pet the puppy. Yes. I feel like it's Frank. Frank Bowers? What is he doing here? Um, what does it look like he's doing here? Yo, Frank! Hey! Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. Wow. What are you even doing here? I'm here to catch I'm here the to show. See Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shit? I'm like in on it. <laughs> the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking Fuck kids. kids. Um, how about some weed? <laughs> okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to 
take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. What? Shit. Fine. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. Okay. Okay then. Never mind then. <sighs> Suit yourself. It's cool. Um. How can you just chill when Firewalk is yeah. clearing it up? Yeah. Come on. How room? can you just chill? Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. Sorry. I'm just trying to... <sighs> Chill girl. Skeevy guys. Sketch central. Um... Saw blade. Ah uh, yeah, something sharp. Okay. Evil eye or spin? Evil eye, definitely. That's our thing. Yeah. What are you at? Nice. We made it better. Cool. Yeah. Termination notice. 300 dock workers laid off, their pensions canceled. God, Prescott's a real tool. Yeah. Dear members of the Arcadia Bay Stevedores Association, Prescott Foundation, having recently purchased the Arcadia Bay Marine Corporation as part of bankruptcy, bankruptcy settlement, has decided to eliminate your position along with the positions of all 307 members of your union. Ugh. Furthermore, the foundation is liquidating all assets of ABMC including the Longshoreman's Pension, which has been granted as payment against credit owed. Be advised that your employment agreement forbids you from disclosing any company practices or methods of operation, including the details of this workforce reduction. Damn. Sweet dreams, hombre. Hombre. Sweet dreams, hombre. Not gonna go in there yet. We want to get fucking stoned. So. No, 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 no. Look. Is that guy selling merch? Exactly Wish I had All some right, cash. It's not gonna take any more than an hour to do it. Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. Yeah. Why would your mom refuse to get you? I wonder. That's exactly what we need. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna sell out. This place is. Hey. Are you selling 20 any- 20 bucks. What? 20 bucks for a t-shirt. That's really expensive. <laughs> you think that's expensive? Yeah. No. Really? No, no, no. T-shirt. Exactly we can look at it. That shirt is rad. You know what we can do? No. We can no, just no, be no, an no. asshole. Look, just first of all. Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. Hmm. What, we're not gonna just let go of the parking brake? I'm, I'm confused. I can't hear you. Can you talk louder, please? I'm confused. Why can't I just do it? I feel like that's what I need to be doing. I mean, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Okay, right, well, that would help. No. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I've explained it to you. All right? It, it's not gonna hmm. I can't just take... I mean, I probably could try to just I take one. Hey, I told you 20 bucks. You looking to get beat? That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. Okay, now I can do it. I had to try to just outright steal it first. Now I can be a dick about it. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! 
<laughs> Thanks so, for playing. Dick. We're Chloe, so who the fuck cares? We're gonna take a t-shirt. For one. Oh yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. And that's like two hundred bucks. Yes. Oh, we're gonna steal the money because we're Chloe. Holy shit. I'm rich. Oh, two hundred dollars is rich. Oh, I love it. Nothing sadder than a neglected bong. Nothing sadder. Also, is there any way to know? I've already somehow missed my first graffiti. Okay, let's go talk to uh talk to Frank. Hey dude. I have money. She returns. Give me pot. Well, do you come so here? So you come here a lot, or making yeah. small talk with my dealer? Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. About that weed. Uh, here it comes. I have money. Here's some cash. Toss in a dime bag, and we'll call it square. Hey, hey, what are you waving around this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act. Do no, I do not. I am Chloe. Nope. So where's my pot? No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. Thank you. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. Damn. I'll beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. The glowing eyes like that right there. I'll see you later. Whatever. Okay. Now. Do we want to go upstairs? Oh, no, there is no upstairs. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Yeah. Let's go this way. Yeah. Let's do it. Maybe? Yeah, this is the way. Damn. Damn. There are a lot of people here. Here we go. Let's do it. Do it, do it. Ugh. Fuck. Oh, whatever. It's the fucking. This kind of show. Like, really? Hey. You okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Mmm. Chloe doesn't apologize. Fuck off, man. <laughs> hey. You don't know who I am, do you? I don't really no. care. And I give zero shits. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right, mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. New Maybe dialogue. Maybe get a better view of the action from up above. Um, who is the new dialogue unlocked with? That's my question. Can we talk to... Maybe it's Frank. Maybe he can tell me who that she asshole returns. is. Who was that guy I just pissed off? Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon Merrick? I see you've heard of him. This is his place. Damon's a friend of mine. Friend, yes. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. Real helpful, Frank. I mean, will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Okay. Bye. I'll see you later. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so no upstairs. It's fucking rotted. Um, I mean, we can try anyway. Right? No, you can't use the bong. Oh, yes! Finally 
finally made it. I can't believe it. Don't bounce too much, Chloe. I mean, he literally just told you that it's rotted through. You spilled my beer, bitch. Bitch. And you should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. I don't like your attitude. Oh my god. Um, honestly, just <laughs> we're not done. Are we not? Fine. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out. Dude. She's calling she's us out, dude. Every word. Every word. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be good. I'm going to teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You want to see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Hey, dickhead. Damn. Huh. This, this action will have consequences. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Rachel? Come okay. on. Let's go. Hurry up. <laughs> Let me go, Frank. Frank. Not gonna happen. Calm down. <laughs> Come on, man. Despite Walk what he away. says, Frank. To an extent, is a good guy. Bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. You know. I mean, for the most part, he's a, <laughs> he's mostly just like true neutral, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, now we get to just rock out with Rachel Amber. <gasps> Rachel Amber. Best night ever. Oh, she still's got all the, the pirate stuff in her room. No. Oh. See, I like the music, but I know it's not good to have it just keep going without me talking because I'm afraid we're going to get, we're going to get a, we're just going to get muted here. I'm going to turn it down already because I can already tell it's just slightly too loud. So let's pull it down to here. Okay. Okay, that way it's not so loud that we're going to get muted on Twitch, you know. Because um, I don't mind too much the shit on YouTube, but when I get muted on Twitch, it's so irritating because then that's the VOD that I export to YouTube, so then YouTube also has it muted. So this isn't done by the same people who did, um, I mean, it is. It's still by Square Enix, but Don't Nod is a... Um, the studio who did it for um, Life is Strange. So this one is done by Deck Nine. Um, we're just gonna chill here. Apparently, we're just gonna just get high. It's fine. We're just chilling. I like how she just fucking smokes an entire joint in the morning. I don't understand that. I don't 
want to be intoxicated before I start my day, though. Um, Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Yeah. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Yeah, that's right. I called you a loser. Want to know why? Because you weren't at Firewalk last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer. Or mom, if you're reading this. He's my dealer and you shouldn't be reading this. I was. It was maybe the greatest night of my life. I hiked to this old mill using the train tracks, then verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he let me inside. Firewalk was the shit. Who knew ragers like that went down in old Arcadia Bay? Fuck Seattle. Plus, I have a sweet ass souvenir black, sweet ass black eye for a souvenir. No big deal. But there were these two asshole skeevy guys whose manhood I wrecked. Oh yeah, and I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? Firewalk plus Chloe is greater than Max. So now we have Frank in here. For a drug dealer, Frank Bowers is actually pretty chill. <laughs> Fire drug dealer, he's a good guy. Lost unicorn. Okay. Hey Max. Mm. Hey Dad. Another day in paradise. Aww. Right? Oh. <laughs> she was so so young and happy. Chloe, wakey wakey, eggsy bakey. Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes, that girl, was that really Rachel Amber? I don't know. Guess we'll gotta find out. They smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Clothes. Well, first, I gotta look at everything. Switch off. Okay, periodic table. I'd like to think my humor has improved with age. <laughs> Improve. <laughs> it's so sad. Better living through chemistry. Wake and bake is part of a healthy breakfast. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Magic. Okay. Oh my goodness. I love it. Um. Don't... Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Um. Do you hear my. Blah, blah. Oh, no, I'm not gonna. Wait. What? Who? What photo? I have feelings about this. Haha. <laughs> Most of them are not good feelings. Firewalk. Jealous. You look hot. Who's the arm candy? Deborah something. Deborah Borgen, I think. So fun. Kisses. Glam. Get it, girl. Who's Tr Deborah Borgen? With Rachel in the picture. Ugh, Rach, you're so gorgeous. I hate you. Who's Armand? Dude, that's Chloe Price. Taylor, wasn't Rachel invited to your sleepover last night? I was wondering where she was. Burn. Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. So much fun. This is really intelligent conversation. Because that's Alyssa. And that's how she talks. <laughs> Sorry. Let's, we didn't look at One it first. One of these days I'm actually going to use you to do my homework. It's a fucking CRT. In 2010. Dad was so proud of me Aww. for winning that stupid science fair. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. Okay, Mr. Sharky. Very Fun important. Fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. Yeah. Apparently, we're gonna tear it down. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. 
So now we get to graffiti. Yes. Words of wisdom, don't fail me now. We already know what it says. I mean, it says everybody lies, but sure. Everything's worth a shot. You miss 100 of the shots. You 100% of the shots you don't drink. Hey. Okay. We got to change clothing. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubled as a middle finger to authority. Mmm. Yes. Edgy. Max Aww. made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Aww. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. I saved all of these. You have to delete that photo of me dancing. Haha. <laughs> Only you could get me to loosen up like that. Happy two month anniversary. Who the fuck is Elliot? <laughs> Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. All the pirate stuff. I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. No. You know Max. Nice one, Chloe. Mom's gonna love the new look. Oh, it's fine. Okay. How do I want to express my teenage angst today? Let's get dressed. We gotta we gotta get dressed. Choose our clothing. Ooh, raven, butterfly, ugh, firewalk. Hmm. I think firewalk. I think firewalk. I don't have any of the um, bonus outfits. I think if you, like, pre... If you fucking... Hmm. Let's look at the others. If you pre-ordered, you got, like, bonus outfits. Okay, let's look at the raven. I don't want to just be wearing a t-shirt. Can't I be wearing something, like, with the t-shirt? Like, a jacket or something? I mean, I don't think... If I'm going to do just a t-shirt, I think the firewalk one. Yeah, we'll do firewalk. The others are so... Eh. Yes, I am literally taking the effort to specifically pick out my outfit. Hmm. Yep, we'll do it. That's, that's what we'll wear. Can't leave without my vitamins. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, I really should get going. Mm. Okay. And let's go. Shit. Where's my phone? It's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. Okay. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. I keep home, trying to. Sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Okay. Why is everyone like that? Okay. Let's look. Let's look Mom's around. finally making her bed again? I guess that's a good sign. Probably. Got 
enough that David comes here for dinner. <laughs> well, if I'm going to look around, I might as well look around. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Apparently. Ugh. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. Better. Apparently, this is going to have consequences. Reading the book had consequences. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Mom's selling Pond. her engagement ring? Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. Well, What's the matter, mom? You don't want dad to see your new boyfriend? It's what Chloe would do. She you would don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. It's true. <clears throat> wow, I'm making all sorts of decisions right now that apparently are going to have lasting consequences. Okay. <sighs> Necklace. I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. I should call my phone. I should call my phone. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Okay. Mm. So she was still talking to us up until, so in 2009, so sorry I've been bad about emailing, texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max, how's it going, you there? Gosh, sorry again, I've been really busy. You'd love Seattle, more in a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhiking in my future? Hey hippie, I'm so sorry, maybe we should set up a time to call. No worries, I'll check my dance card. 7 p.m. in Arcadia Bay. What's it, 2019 in Seattle? I know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure, anytime. Let me know. Yo, queen of the crickets. What's the latest? Max. Aw. Poor Chloe. Because they were texting. Until fucking... And, like, I kind of get it, but at the same time... Okay. Your shit's here. Hell yeah. But tapped out. Sorry. Your loss. Hey, can you hold it for me a day? Can I? I'm your favorite customer. Are you? Frank. You holding? You still low. You gonna have me whacked? Yes. Please joke about that over text. Um, you deal drugs on this phone. Anyway, come on. It's 420. I'll meet you if you have the cash. Uh, rain check. Okay, Elliot, new message. Oh god. Spanish test sucked. Lucky if, lucky if I pass. Ah, uh, 
Lo siento. Wait, what day is it right now? It's the seventh. Um. Um. No, I think I did okay. Cool. What you up to? Not much. Got shit to do later. Oh, okay. You finished the chem homework? Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. Obviously. Mom, will you be joining us for supper? Because she speaks with a, with a southern accent for some reason. No thanks. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? Chloe, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Yeah, there are lots of consequences for all of my actions. <laughs> what am I doing next? David shit prison wall. Okay. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay. Okay. I think I saw mom's purse in her room. Um, yeah. First, we're gonna check everything. Because I gotta. I gotta. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. Sunrise almond. Intense, but subtle. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. Let's go get her shit, her purse. Her purse was over here. Look. I should take that down to mom. I should take that down to mom. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? Will do. No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yep. Yeah. That really makes me want to hurry. You do want to talk to me because I did shit. <laughs> Coming, mom. Mom. It's like my, I had a friend um, who always went, always goes, Fine, mom. Lady. You can put my mom. purse on the dining table. I might still mom. have time for breakfast in a hurry. I think this is dining the same table. Joyce, right? Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Okay. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Well then. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. We're already supporting one. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Already doing it. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? Mm. <sighs> And never looked back. Ooh, Chloe. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. <laughs> Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Wait. Okay. All sorts of stuff to look at. Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Eh. Whatever. From when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. It's also, my job to water these plants, but it was dad's job to remind me. So, nobody's fault, really. I think I can't go in there yet. Ashtray. Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. Yeah, she was. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. 
There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? Can't go outside. Um. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Yep. It's exactly like that. Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe. You're poor and in trouble. Awesome. Let me be emphatic. This is not due to financial woes, says Principal Ray Wells. After a survey of the tuitions of prestige academies of similar caliber, we are simply keeping ourselves competitive. Blackwell parents invest in their children, not their vacation homes. Wells further emphasized that, in addition to merit-based tuition awards, this year won by sophomores Stella Hill and Brooke Scott, so... Brooke, as in the one who's into Warren in the previous game, well, future, whatever, and Stella, who we also knew then. The, pro the school's program of need-based scholarships remains in place for students who maintain exceptional academic records. Cool. Swear jar. Dad's old swear jar. He spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom pot hates roast? pot roast. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Joyce Price, AKA mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Let's do what she told us to do. For like once in our Chloe, life. I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? It's not the same choice. See what mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. We gotta do better for mom. Do we? Mm, I, let's do. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? No. No. What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Mm. You do realize I hate your boyfriend. <laughs> your Amazing. Being, right? You're being great. Chloe. You don't hate me. He him. calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old fashioned. Yeah, an old fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Hmm. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just 
grab something later. Oh, no, you eat that breakfast oh, that your mom just made this. you. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? <clears throat> I'll enjoy that, huh? Firewalk? Is that the band you mentioned last week? I'm still bummed you wouldn't let me go. Mm-hmm. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that... Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Good mom. And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Damn. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom... The whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Damn. Ooh, maybe David could help. Damn, I feel like that's what she should say. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. Damn. David thinks you need discipline. I don't give a shit what David thinks. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Damn. Ooh. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad. Your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong Damn. kind of people to let Did into you our really? hearts. Mom. Did you really need to go that hard into David's her? David's had some hard times too. You know? I don't care what if kind of hard times David has had. I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today, <laughs> you will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such what, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I feel like Risa wants to be understanding. But Chloe is just going to say what she feels. So... <laughs> you want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly. Chloe, and if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. Damn, that's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Whatever. Just fucking do it, Chloe. <laughs> But we can't graffiti them. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. We'd better get going. Steph. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich. Hey. I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. I actually have to let this jack off drive me to school. Blech. This is my life now. Kill me. 
there's a sh apparently I'm supposed to be able to graffiti his shit, so it must be in his car or something, I guess. Mm. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Doho. <laughs> Why do you women always take forever to get ready? Mm. We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. <gasps> Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I'd gotten to my share of scraps. It's but even a different David. Not responsible. And this you David owe is it to your mother to do better. Interesting. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Yeah, yeah, we get to learn to hate David all over again. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you the not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage. We can get moving. Okay. Oh, now I get this? to quality time. Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. Oh. What? Why did this become a cutscene? What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? Poor Chloe. <laughs> so much. Do these have chapters Denial. on wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Okay, we're gonna look at other stuff. First. This was the photo mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Damn. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Amazing. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? That's the one that we give to Max. Okay. There we go. Hmm. There's a socket wrench. Yes, we can take it, but can 50, we also... 50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Can I also... <gasps> Graffiti? If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. Graffiti? What message does David really need to hear? Box of dicks. Um, or intruder. I think intruder is more what's on her mind right now. Got it. Got it. Home improvement. I just got a, a whatchamacallit, an achievement. You get an achievement every time you do things, but yeah. Prison wall, so that'll be at school. Am I right? Okay. Here, I got your fucking socket wrench. Socket wrench. Just take it. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> It'll kill you. Ugh. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign carbon of carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this. The attitude answer. doesn't stop My me from being good at it. Me special, David. All right. Okay. 
Okay, let's get lectured, am I right? <laughs> oh, God. I would have just accepted it, but you know what? This is Chloe. Chloe's just gonna leave him hanging. What the f How you do anything is how you do everything. <laughs> that doesn't even, like, whatever. Now I need a shower. Who the fuck, like, makes you accept- hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. Ugh. You've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> really? You're gonna make fun of my dead dad's tools? Like, really? That's what you're gonna do? You're gonna laugh at my dead dad's tools? Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Uh. We don't have to like each other. Okay. But you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. Oh my god. So there's some things I want to My be vacation with my about. dead dad. My dead dad? Shut the f shut this the fuck down. Like you've had a vacation from a father figure. Oh yeah, the vacation where my dad died, right? That's what you want to talk to me about right now. How my dad dying gave me a vacation. Respect him. I think it's time I showed this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. Okay. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out, out of line. Already. Language? French is a language, military language. Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You got a smart mouth, don't you? Smart mouth. Oh, then let me dumb it down for you. Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your. I can crap bigger than you. Got it? Yep, you're the crap master. Then I hope you're a better plumber than you are a mechanic. You, your mother, breaking her heart. Breaking her heart? At least she has a heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. Um... I didn't enlist. I don't remember enlisting. So don't Damn. treat me like your newest recruit. See, I think I'd be really... It, it's... If you were a man, it's I'd... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Damn! Yeah, Mission can you give me another vacation then? <laughs> Just sorry. I have to do some of these, you know. Country music? Yeah, there's slight country music if you can't hear it, but very slight. I'd love this song. Oh, now I just got sad. That's the shirt she's wearing in the pat with the day her dad I dies. To tell you Remember? I miss you, oh my God. Friend. This is really sad. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Curse. This, this isn't right. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Yeah. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. <laughs> Picking up my lover from the grocery store. <sighs> yep. It's still unclear. Did uh, am I misremembering? Did he get hit by a train or by a truck? 
I mean, that was just a train. I don't know. Hey. Whatever. Hey, Whatever. Tom? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Good. <laughs> I don't care. Let me go back to sleep. Hey, love, can you turn on the... I forgot to leave that on. Thank you. Oh. I'll say thanks. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young We boy. actually said thanks for real. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I was literally telling you thank you. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Black Hell. The Tempest. One of the Shakespeare plays I've never actually fully... I read it, but I never remember it. Good luck, seniors. Future needs excellence. Okay. Let's go around, talk to some people. Do some shit. You know... Uh. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? No. What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. That's okay. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? No. Uh, that sounds awful. <laughs> no way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. Cool. All Good right. talk, Elliot. See you in Cam. Yeah, for sure. Good talk. Ugh. Gotta okay. track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Get DVD from Steph. Cool. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Maybe you should have tried, like, some other... Meh. Well, at least not for Lauren now. Lauren or Brooke. Oh. Ugh, Nathan in tights. Can't unsee. What, Steph? Cool. Thanks. On my way. The future needs excellence. The future's an asshole. Okay. Unnecessary. Ah, yeah. Skip. What is up, Skip? Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah. Right. Whatever. I Surprise. did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Well. Yeah, you know how I roll. <laughs> no. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. Yeah, I can see that. Wait. You went to the mill last night? Yeah, I'm cool like that. It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. No. You mean good what? music? Like good music? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? <laughs> We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, Pisshead is I mean, actually referenced in the original there, game. It's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. 
Definitely. Fuck yes, I want to yeah, hear it. Okay. Great. Mm, we can't hear it. But, um, it's awesome. So, what did you think? I liked it, dude. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. It's a punk oh, thing, so she'd like it, probably. Right awesome, Chloe, thanks. I just don't want the music up. Awesome. See? Security likes us now. This time. This time around. Hi, Miss Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you alright? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Um. I don't want to ruin the mystery. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change <laughs> that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts hmm. have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good. All of these voice actors but sound instead of so going weird. to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. Oh no, the you arts. don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Oh no. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Um... Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here. Oh, okay. We're just done? We're done talking to her now? Cool. Um, we'll come back to this. Let's go find Steph first. Because there's no one else over here, so... We'll go this way. Make fun of Need Victoria. From Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Oh, Carrie Price. It's Chloe. not even the same Victoria. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacons Young Artist Award for my photography. Oh my gosh, you won yeah, that all sure. by yourself? Between that and the Vortex Club, it's oh my hard God. to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. Oh. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Um. Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do you tell. Do you tell. We murdered a man. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. God, you're so um, funny. Seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're um, really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm, I'm not, not judging or anything. I just need to know how to be popular. If she's out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. Oh, you know? thank you. Thank I you mean, so much for that compliment. Look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. Gotcha. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Sabotage her homework, I think, is exactly the kind of thing that Chloe would do. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me. Of I mean, you're the young. That last problem was hard, right? Oh, yeah. If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, <laughs> potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. 
Thanks, no Terry. Problem. No problem, Veronica. That's what I would have said. No problem, Veronica. Okay. Let's go talk to Samantha. Ooh, I wonder if you look back in Life is Strange if Samantha is on one of the um Hey Chloe. On hey, one of Samantha. the photography what are you reading? binders. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Foyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. No, you're I'm cool. a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. It's okay. I bet. It's chill. It's cool. Whatever. We'll go over here and do this instead. Because look, it's... Oh, wait. Who's over there? Let's try talking to you first. Oh, it's Evan. Hey, Evan. How's it going? Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you, too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of the season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Why are you doing this? <laughs> this is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Completely sincere. Besides, Maybe he's from California. I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. <laughs> Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? Why I are you guess. asking me? Wildfires Who are says awesome. we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts <laughs> of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, mm -hmm. which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Yep. Say knob cone again. <laughs> no. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Um. Sure. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Wow. Thanks for the to change my mind? backhanded, like... I... No. You know what? For the fucking How snide... How seriously am I taking this right now? I'm sorry. For the crack? You're getting... Happy to support such an important cause. Blackwell Academy. Home of... Tomorrow's leaders. Yep. Principal Dix. Big McHuge balls and smokeweed D bear. Thanks so much for signing my petition. Smokeweed D bear? Only you can prevent ganja fires. <laughs> We're so funny. Sorry, Evan. No one cares. Even if we had signed it really, no one else cared. Yay! Let's go talk to Steph and Mikey. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. Good for her. Entrepreneur. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have told you. Oh, man. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. So, funny thing is, I was just, right before I streamed, I just had, like, basically kind of an interview-ish for being on um another podcast, because obviously Ariana and I have our Nancy Drew podcast, but now I'm also going to be on a podcast about being a games master for 
Star Wars role-playing games. <laughs> so, and, you know, other role-playing games, mostly Star Wars and another one called Genesis. So, yeah, try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Oh, I thank Sweet. you. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, Aww. do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? Poor Chloe. You're asking Why the me? fuck are you guys talking? Did you two go out last night, or was it just, like, a friend thing? I mean, what's it? Why? Why do you care? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah. I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Absolutely nothing. Let's fucking play a game. Let's do it. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Let's do it. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. Sounds great. <laughs> why is that why is that funny? You know what? No. I'm totally an elf barbarian. Nice. If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna I get the totally fuck see into myself it. As an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. Alright, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in Steph the kingdom of Avalon. and Mikey are a once peaceful cool. land. So now let's just chill with them. Now waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, <sighs> you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you and greet you. I am Elama. Wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Hmm. Mm hmm Introduce your character. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named, uh... <laughs> Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. I'm trying. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. Durgaron. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Um, let's just do it. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. True story. <laughs> you stand on a three-way <laughs> I like the look of To your left, the raider's training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron. Durgaron. Which way do you go? Every time they Straight say Straight ahead, it. right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Oh, I'm your choice, newbie. Mm -mm. Where do you wish to go? I guess, um, prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. Free some peeps. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small free elderly me. dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin yeah. are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Wow, oh, that's racist. Okay. Hey, shit face, get out of there. The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any well, then. useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Ow. Welp. We gotta intimidate. Let's 
just intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I, I would like to coerce. Shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, tirade. he doesn't speak common, which means he can't I cast communication on the dragon kin. <laughs> shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. <laughs> Time to work some real magic. So okay. this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use. Oh, I know what this is. I <laughs> I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Um, meat puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragon king guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I <laughs> shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. <laughs> the dragon can please with you. Don't harm me. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. Okay. Could make you shorter. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. <laughs> Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. Yeah, this is just the dragon can cowers before you. You're supposed to roll right. for this. He opens his jaws and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. I think you this have to is roll. Going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm pretty I sure you have to roll now. From your bones. I think you have then to roll to intimidate. Into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around <laughs> with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? <laughs> uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma go ahead and roll a small pool of urine collects oh what you're not even going to show us dragonkin as hands trembling it hands you the key fucking rude then it dies of fear awesome yeah go team why don't you start unlocking the prisoners i'm on it as you free them the prisoners run away from you in fear what's next um Yeah, I mean I always I always yeah. The, the thing is, if you yeah, it's fine. Uh sure, training ground. I don't really care about the training ground. Well, let's do it anyway. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Uh -oh. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider Damn. suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant <laughs> still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Um. Um. Uh, I don't okay. know. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Damn. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's mm. unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Yay. Eh. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Elamon Nod. Telemastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. See, these What's are the people next? we like, so we're gonna be nice to them. Okay, Warlord's tent. It's tent time. 
You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the Damn, he of the is Black much well, taller than we sitting are. Sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His Damn. laughter bellows. <laughs> Chloe basically just has scathing mind. tirade. That's Indeed, just like what her back talk nothing. things are. They're Your just scathing tirade. Weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Oh no. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. <sighs> Shit. All of my battle spells are fire based. Except for, well, you know, acid blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Aww. What'll it be? Um. I don't know. Let's just go with W again. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? Oh no. That's bad, right? Yeah. Not for me. <laughs> I know the feeling. Step, <laughs> Not for rock, me. Collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal, your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, oh no! Roll a reflex save. Oh no! Oh no! Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. No! I am so sorry, dude. I am so sorry. <laughs> Ergeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Ergeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Um, jump in front of Elamon. I jump in front of Elamon. That's not how any wow. of this goes. Thanks. This should Chloe. all be in specific I mean, rounds. Thanks, Calamastia. And, you know, okay. you take turns and it's in a set. Durgeron has now turned his attention but, you know, you. Bring it. Whatever. He charges. Thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade. But that's okay. You high into the air. As long Seriously? as... I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. It's okay. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength. Draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. Mm. What do you do? Aha! Swing for his arm. I bring my axe Because that's where his... his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20. Yeah, not 20. Yes. You bring your axe down in a wicked chop. Severing in a wicked chop. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Ooh, snap. Lying on the ground, you conjure nice. a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Yep, Too my long, action Elmon. had consequences. Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds My RPG are actions... I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. <gasps> Bummer. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. <laughs> I love it. That's adorable. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. Mm. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> I beat the game within the game. Thanks for the game, nerds. Okay. Now. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Hmm, no. Next step is not chemistry class. Hmm, flowers. 
We're going to look at the flowers. Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. I love flowers. Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. Hmm. Can I not just hop up? Ugh. This is imperative that I get up here. If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sit down. Ow. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Hmm. Uh-oh. He's walking so poorly. Principal Wells. Hello. Hey. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana-flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm... Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm Are Greg. you, though? It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. How many minor infractions in a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Yeah. He's joking. You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. And yet if my olfactory sense does not fail me, I'd say you've recently been exposed to marijuana smoke. Shit. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? You know what? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Uh... Risa would say, fine. Chloe would say, actually, no. Wells really has it out for me. <laughs> I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah. Oh, shoot. So mouth you're throwing off. the mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. My well is deep. Sir. My well of witticisms runs so deep that you would get trapped at the bottom and never make it out alive. Jokes, Jokes. in my experience, experience, that's how the guilty. guilty cover up their infractions. Um, how did you become principal without learning the Constitution? The Fourth Amendment, a legal search and seizure? We are a private, private. institution. And policy, policy allows me to search all students on the premises. I wonder if the Prescotts might reconsider their donation if Blackwell's Damn. Is being I am on fire harassment. with these right now. How do you know about the Prescott <laughs> donation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is what else do I know? Damn. I'm sure we uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. Damn fucking straight. But make no mistake, Miss Price. This is not over. Well, Ooh, no shit. Goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny. Just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. <sighs> Chloe... Amazingly enough, um, must have like high willpower. High, I'm I'm just stuck in this uh, right now. Um, this she has to have high willpower. Like a bad thing. 
for the coercion. Or she just has a lot of ranks in coercion. Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. But I feel like she's also just a high presence character. That's just, uh oh. I got wrapped up into a cutscene. Ugh. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Uh Chloe doesn't know Prescott is who he is yet. Uh, they're both losers. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Really? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. Damn. At least my family pays tuition. Oh. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Uh, Chloe, do something. Do something. They're watching. Girl. Girl. I mean, Chloe definitely would stop something. She likes to get in fights. She likes com she thrives on confrontation <laughs> at this point. <laughs> so, we're going to do it. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Which sucks, because it's like... Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? What did I... What? I'm sorry, can you not hear? Um... Back dick. off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Yeah, you got me feeling sorry for a Prescott. Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You know it's crazy. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? Uh, piece of your bromance? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. She shut owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Oh, damn. <laughs> we, <laughs> we are a bad influence. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. You're a good you okay? girl. You think I need help from you? You're welcome. I, uh, you to be right? honest, I wasn't even helping you for you. Thanks I was helping Samantha you because him. Samantha People came think over just all because of his family. Doe-eyed. <sighs> Chloe can't say no to that. Figure? We already know. <laughs> no problem, Skip. <laughs> really, Skip? You waited until the end of that to come over. Jesus. What? Come on. Okay. Um, we've met Elliot. Elliot is pretty not terrible. He hangs out with some of the douches, but I get the sense he's mostly a lone wolf. 
Um, similar to my class schedule, Elliot and I have history, but no chemistry or drama. We hooked up a few times shortly after Dad died. There, re there wasn't really much to it. I think I was just bored, or maybe a little lonely. Weird, I know. Don't always get where Elliot's coming from. He's constantly asking to do stuff with me, which is nice, but I'm not sure you have that much in common anymore. I don't know what he's doing. He just wants to, like, hang out with me and stuff. What the fuck's that about? Um... Nathan. We've met almost everyone. Cool. I would sacrifice a goat to Jeremiah Blackwell himself if it meant I'd be leaving here in a month. Anti-drug poster. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. Drugs. Not even once. Oh, good. You're here. Oh, yeah, good. Thank you. I, I am here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Good. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. You're Sorry, killing me. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Bless you. This is getting as surreal as last <laughs> She fucking night. just winks at us. Wow, looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Why why are you doing this to me? Why why why? The question is Poor Chloe. Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you I, think? Uh uh M Miranda's a fucking idiot. Like just Miranda's an idiot because Falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are. Whoever you are. Idiot, or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Oh, I didn't. I feel like I've already missed my fucking prison wall graffiti. Well, what? Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, okay. Uh, y yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Chloe can't say no okay. to a pretty girl. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. Yeah. Should be doable, right? RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it drama lab for nothing. Comment. Well, 
What to say, what to say. Bitter much? Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. <laughs> oh, are you telling me that didn't count? Whatever. I'm just gonna look all over this shit. Look at everything. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. This is really intelligent conversation. Sorry. I didn't look at the other pages. I have feelings about this. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Rachel Amber playing Prosper. A newcomer to Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber blew the doors off her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire. Other interests include athletics, debate team, boosters fundraising, local history, and nature. Rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway and the silver screen of Hollywood. Nathan Prescott playing Caliban. A favorite son of the oldest and most influential member, uh, influential family in Arcadia Bay, Nathan hopes his performance of The Tempest will only further the, further the legacy of the Prescott name at Blackwell Academy. Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore, who enjoys sports, photography, and casual hangouts with his many friends. Dana Ward playing Miranda. A sophomore, Dana's performed in two other productions at Blackwell Academy since her freshman year. <gasps> Dana enjoys football, go Bigfoots, social media, and school dances. She hopes to be a member of the Vortex Club when she's a senior. Hayden Jones playing Ferdinand. This show marks the introduction of Hayden Jones at Blackwell Academy's Drama Club. He auditioned on a dare, and as it turns out, actually really digs acting. <laughs> really digs. A sophomore, his other interests include playing sports, herbals, and taking long walks in the woods. Juliet Watson playing Ariel. Juliet's primary interests include journalism and social activism, but she is very excited to be debuting this spring in the role of Ariel, the capricious and powerful spirit Prosper has enchanted and bound to do her magical bidding. Travis Keaton, directing. A veteran of Broadway, Travis Wilbury Keaton serves the prestigious Blackwell Academy as a teacher of the dramatic arts, mentor, and friend. He hopes this humble reinterpretation of Shakespeare's masterpiece can inspire the next generation of the country's leaders to strive for greatness and never to forget his motto, Ars Gratia Artis. I don't... Blah, 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 blah. Steph, stage manager. Brooke is sound design. Evan did the program stuff. Special against... Special thanks to, like, everyone. And especially the Prescott Foundation. <laughs> Hey now, sharing is caring. Hmm. This poster definitely says something. Hmm. Rachel looks so happy here. Just um, uh, the issue here being that they just pasted the teenager face onto the child body, which does not work. There's Rachel's belt. Okay. Let's go give it to her. Guess if you I'll know what I mean. I'll give this to Rachel now. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the the Tempest. Sweet caller, Pepe. Should be life is drama. Much better than Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Graffiti. Mmm, let's do horns on Nathan foreshadowing also he was just an asshole to us after we did just keeping it real so much 
note. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. You are very beautiful. Do you want to go out? I would be into that. You know, you should also try to be into, and that is protection. Oh, sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. I know it was you, Hayden. Hayden is apparently taking all of the pencils. There must be a hundred costumes in here. No. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Have I looked at everything now? I think I have. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, do we throw the belt over or do we go over there while she's getting dressed? I think Chloe uh, would probably just throw it because she is awkward, like Here all lesbians. Ow! <laughs> I didn't say attack me with it. Shit. Sorry. All women who are into women are useless while talking to other women. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Yep. Uh, it was pretty good. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Well then. Um, that's, that's deep. Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Um... Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's not weird for me. It's weird for you. I hoped you'd say that. No, about that eye. That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? <laughs> no. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. I'm a baby. She's a baby butch. She's Let's just trying to... She's trying to do all this. It's adorable. Oh, God. There's like 45 minutes left of this first episode, so I'm not going to do it. Um, sure no, I am not going to try and finish this episode tonight. I've had a really long day. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming out and at least playing this much with me. Um... Yeah, but it's like, if I do it to the level I like to do it, um, it's like, oh, we got like 45 minutes left. So I would rather do it the way I like to do it than rush. So I will um, be streaming again tomorrow night. So we will finish up this episode at the very least. Um, yeah, probably just do that. I don't know if we'll start the next episode or not. Who knows? Who knows how tomorrow Risa will feel? Tonight Risa is done. Tomorrow Risa might be happy to go forever. So tomorrow, 8 o'clock um, Mountain Time. So that's 7 Pacific, 9 Central, 10 Eastern. So see you guys then. Peace out, y'all.